Millions of years ago, the Earth was a land of titans. Forests stretched endlessly, rivers carved vast valleys, and across these prehistoric landscapes roamed the largest creatures to ever walk the planet. Dinosaurs were not only rulers of their world, some of them pushed the boundaries of size itself. From the long-necked sauropods that towered like moving mountains, to giants whose footsteps shook the earth beneath them. These creatures redefined what it meant to be alive on a colossal scale. This is the story of the largest dinosaurs ever. How they lived, how they grew so massive, and why their size became one of the greatest mysteries in Earth's history. Prepare to step into a world where every shadow belonged to a giant, and every tree could vanish into the jaws of a single animal. At the top of the list stand the sauropods, the true giants of the dinosaur world. Argentinosaurus, discovered in Argentina, is believed to have reached lengths of more than 35 meters and weighed as much as 80 tons. Imagine an animal longer than a basketball court, heavier than a dozen elephants. Its neck stretched skyward like a living crane, while its body moved slowly but with unstoppable force. Close behind was Patagotitan, another South American giant. Entire herds of these creatures would have turned entire forests into dust consuming tons of vegetation every single day. Then came Dreadnoughtus. Its very name means fears nothing. With a body mass exceeding 60 tons, it walked with absolute confidence, knowing that no predator could ever bring it down. These dinosaurs were living ecosystems. Their massive bodies carried flocks of scavengers, insects, and symbiotic creatures. Their feeding reshaped forests. Their footsteps carved paths that lasted for centuries. They were not simply dinosaurs. They were monuments of evolution, alive and breathing, moving through prehistoric landscapes like living mountains. Long before these Cretaceous giants, other titans ruled the Jurassic. Brachiosaurus, with its towering front legs and upward-reaching neck, could browse treetops other dinosaurs could only dream of. It was built like a skyscraper on legs, a gentle giant that shaped entire ecosystems by feeding from the highest canopies. Then came Diplodocus. Its body stretched like a serpent across the land, with a whip-like tail that could snap with the speed of sound. At more than 25 meters in length, it may not have been the heaviest, but its sheer span made it one of the most extraordinary creatures of its age. Together, these giants transformed their landscapes. They spread seeds across vast distances. They reshaped forests with every meal. And when they moved in herds, the earth itself trembled under their combined weight. The Jurassic was a world of abundance, and its giants were the architects of life itself. In the final age of the dinosaurs, new giants arose. In North America, Alamosaurus stood as the last of the great sauropods, with lengths reaching 30 meters and massive tails capable of crushing predators. It carried on the legacy of the giants, even as the age of dinosaurs neared its end. Other titanosaurs, like Futilonchosaurus and Portosaurus, dominated South America. Each discovery added another chapter to the story of just how massive dinosaurs could grow. The diversity of these giants was astonishing. Some had tails like whips, others carried thick armor on their backs. But they all shared one thing, size beyond imagination. Even as the asteroid that would end their reign approached, the Earth still belonged to giants. Why did dinosaurs grow so enormous? Scientists have searched for answers for decades. Part of the secret lay in their biology. Sauropods had bird-like lungs, which pumped air efficiently through their colossal bodies. 
Their bones were hollow, strong yet lightweight, allowing necks longer than any other creature on land. Their reproduction also helped. They laid eggs in vast numbers, ensuring that even if many were lost, enough would survive to grow into giants. And the world they lived in made it possible. The Jurassic and Cretaceous periods were warm, wet, and filled with plants. Vast ferns, conifers, and cycads created endless food supplies. Size was survival. The bigger they were, the safer they became from predators. And with size came dominance, the ability to control entire ecosystems. They were not mistakes of evolution. They were its masterpieces. What was life like for the largest dinosaurs? Every step consumed vast energy. To survive, Argentinosaurus, or Patagotitan, may have eaten hundreds of kilograms of plants every day. Forests vanished before them, leaving clearings in their wake. Their hearts pumped with incredible force, pushing blood up long necks to their brains. Their lungs worked like engines, fueling bodies heavier than any creature before or since. Young grew quickly, racing toward giant size as fast as nature allowed, for only size protected them from predators. A juvenile could be hunted by carnivores, but an adult? An adult was untouchable. To live as a giant was to live above fear, but it was also to live in constant hunger. A world where survival meant endless searching for food, water, and space. They were both rulers and prisoners of their size. The giants are gone now. The asteroid ended their reign in fire and ash. But their bones remain. Fossils that stretch across entire rooms, skeletons that tower above us in museums. They remind us of a time when Earth belonged to Titans. Their story is not just about size, it is about possibility, really need to be careful about how section. life can stretch the boundaries of what is imaginable. This is unbelievable. Even today, a their legacy nature. lives on in birds, in ecosystems shaped by their presence, in the endless fascination they inspire in us. The largest dinosaurs ever were not simply animals. They were monuments of life, moving mountains of flesh and bone, a reminder that nature, at its peak, can create wonders beyond our wildest imagination. <laughs>